on Eagle Nation News, Nick Anderson reports on the chaos of before and after school parking. What actions are being taken to lessen the stress of finding a parking spot? Freshman Haley Moore will take her talents all the way to state. How will this eagle add to her list of birdies? And finally, Casey Boston will be in studio once again to discuss the future farmers of America's recent achievement, along with re recapping the Visual Arts Scholastic event. All this and more today on Eagle Nation News. Live from Prosper, Texas, this is Eagle Nation News. Good afternoon, Prosper High School. Today is Thursday, May 3rd. I'm Christina Folsom. I'm Tyler Winden. And I'm Cameron Silva. Unfortunately, there was a plane crash reported yesterday. Cameron, you have the story. Thanks, Christina. A military cargo plane lost control and plummeted to the ground near Savannah Hilton Head National Airport, leaving nine dead yesterday afternoon. Miraculously, the aircraft didn't collide with any homes or vehicles. The only people that died in the crash were the personnel on board. After his wife's funeral, George H.W. Bush was admitted into the hospital on April 22nd. He has a history with health issues ranging from a type of Parkinson's disease to pneumonia, along with additional infections. However, Jim McGarth claims that Bush is getting better and should be out soon. Thank you, gentlemen. Those who have family members involved in the plane crash, as well as George Bush, are being kept in my thoughts. Now we send it over to Nick Anderson to report on school parking issues and what actions are being taken. So if you're like me and you come to school off of 1461 every morning, you might have turned in here and saw these big mounds of dirt. And you might have thought to yourself, what are these big mounds of dirt doing here? Why? Why? Well, soon all of this will look like all of this. Now, no matter what, it doesn't matter if there's not any parking spaces available, students should not be parking in staff parking or on the curb like this meathead right here. What a loser. This is against the rules. It doesn't matter what your parking pass says, if you park in a student parking spot, you will be good. Students must park in student parking spots at all times. It doesn't matter if you have a parking pass that says C on it and you park in A, as long as you're parking in student parking until we get the new section of the parking lot built. So when you get here in the mornings, just remember, don't park in staff parking and don't park on the curb. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Nick Anderson, Prosper. Thank you, Nick. Hopefully soon I won't have to wake up earlier than usual just to claim a spot. After this commercial break, Elizabeth Kirsch highlights Haley Moore and her recent achievements with golf. For anyone interested in participating in Best Buddies next year, there will be an informational meeting on Friday, May 4th during Eagle Time. The PHS Catholic Student Association will meet on Thursday. Mu Alpha Theta has a mandatory meeting on Friday. Please bring floss, toothbrushes, and toothpaste to the library to benefit Bethlehem Place. Naturally, being the first girl in years to advance to state is no easy task. And Elizabeth Kirsch is here with the scoop. Every time I step out onto the course, I have the mindset that I want to win. I've been playing golf since I was six years old, and I just went out and played with my parents. Um, they've played golf their whole lives, and I think it was kind of in my blood to play. Golf is more than a game to me. Um, it's the competitive aspect. Like, I love like just wanting to win. <laughs> I don't know, I just kind of love the drive. I practice every day for the most part, just in the gym or on the course. Starting out this fall season, I was one of the only freshmen on varsity and I was really looking to help grow the program. There's districts, regionals, and state. 
At regionals, the team tied for fifth, and then I myself placed third to get a spot at state. Prior to high school golf, I played in a lot of competitive junior golf tournaments, numerous golf tours. I was always in awe of like the golf team. Like I, I wanted to be them, like they were so good, and I was like, I really want to do this. <laughs> I love how competitive our team is and the atmosphere. Like you just want to be here. Coach Hammy does a really amazing job of keeping everyone interested. She keeps it new every time. Golf is a sport where it's very individualized and like you wouldn't think of it as a team sport, but um, I think it, I don't know. I think it sort of helps you become a better person like in a team, like playing on the high school team, you know that people are counting on you and it's kind of a satisfaction to know that like you put your best bet forward in like the team's favor. The memories I've made on the team are priceless and they'll last a lifetime. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth, and best of wishes to Haley. After this commercial break, Casey Boston is in studio to discuss achievements in art and FFA. to type this paper, let's go. And done. So now I need something to actually write about. Do you ever have writer's block? Yeah. We at ENN do too, and we need your help. Scan the QR code shown below and fill out the Google form with any story ideas you may have. You may just see them in an upcoming episode. Now we are joined by Casey Boston, who is in studio with your winners and champions for the week. Cameron. Last Saturday, 13 artworks were taken to state in the Visual Arts Scholastic event. 35,000 students participate in this event and only 2,200 advanced to the state competition. FFA also went to state this past week. Livestock Evaluation received 6th place, Veterinary Science received 8th place, and a couple other categories that Prosper took to state was Farm Business Management and Poultry Evaluation. That's all that I have for you today, but if you want to stay updated on events like these, you can go to our Twitter, which is Eagle Nation News, and our website is EagleNation.net. Back to you guys at the desk. Thank you, Casey. Now we send it over to Nia Penny for a quick sports update. Tonight, baseball will play Frisco Centennial away at 7.30. Also tonight, softball will play Mount Pleasant away at 7. That's all I have for you today. I'm Nia Penny reporting from the Eagle Zone. Well, that's going to do it for our show today for Eagle Nation News. I'm Cameron Silva. I'm Tyler Winden. And I'm Christina Folsom. Live long and prosper.